Welcome back my comrades, I am Victor Barisov and today we're doing a Fallout 4 quest mod. It is called Vault 28 The Absent Ghoul by GAZ Arts 1. I apologise if I've just butchered your name. But I will put links down to this mod down below guys if you want to try it. And also I'd like to apologise if you hear me sniffling or sneezing a little. I am a little bit of cold at the minute. But I am getting over it, so about jump into this video guys, so see you in a few seconds. So guys, we are now in game, as you can see. Um, oh, that's a bit close up, I do look a bit creepy. If you're wondering what I'm wearing, it's the Russian Recon, uh, not Russian Recon, it's a Russian Federation armor pack. It's not on Nexus, it's off um, a different mod site. Uh, the mod offer doesn't want it on Nexus, so I understand that, so I'm using that one. I'm using the gas mask and helmet, what's off Nexus as well. If you're wondering where I'm at, I'm at the Boston Mariel Shore, what's now a settlement. If you're wondering how I got that, that's part of a mod by a different gentleman, I cannot remember his name. But I will have his name for when I do the Boston Mariel Shore a video. What will be coming up about a month's time or two months time, depends when I get it done. But that is part of the Gek mod. And this is where we're going. It's that location there, it's by Beantown Brewery. But yeah, to go back to that Gek mod, it's called the Gek. Come off castle and adds hundreds of different locations in or you can just install them separately but i think i'm gonna leave yeah i will leave his mod down below because i have showed it off quickly so yes guys i'm gonna show off his mod quite a little bit there i'll give him a bit of a little shout out now so if you want hundreds of new build locations he's added in um downtown boston coast guard boston mariel shelter hundreds of different locations guys so if you would like that um, the links are down below, but if you have any other questions about my mods or anything like that guys I'm using, put down in the comments below. Oh yeah, I forgot about this, I didn't even tell you about this either guys. If you, I tweeted this out a while ago saying I had fixed my fallout and redone it. And this is now what it looks like, lush green grass with the Russians invading. So it's absolutely fun. So this is the house we're at, by the more way, next to the offer of purchase letter. Okay, let's have a read. Let's have a look. Um, nope, that's weapons. Off oh, 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 there it is. Off oh, purchase. Mr. Chris Fredrickson, I think I'm saying that right. Six Rocky Drive, Boston, Massachusetts, October 12, 2077. Dear Mr. Fredrickson, I hope this letter finds you well. As you are aware, the completion of our newest highway in your local area is almost complete, and we are happy to confirm that we are no longer have your home marked for demolition however we would still like to extend our offer to buy your home from you at a generous price as we have st stated in previous letters even if the construction of highway doesn't require you to sell your home back to the state the noise pollution generated by the highway and traffic <sighs> above as well as the traffic immediately poses your home would quite frequently intolerable we really hope you would reconsider and allow us to move you to sanctuary hills where you can rejoin your former neighbors yours sincerely mr george jones managing director boston housing association Whew, okay let's go okay so this is the little yard area uh some bits and bobs Nothing really interest there. Okay, let's go in. Uh, I think of worth stealing. Not stealing, taking, shall I say? <clears throat> oh, sure. Just come on in, why don't you? In my day, it wasn't that uncommon for people to get this actually knock on a door instead of just opening it. Well, I do apologize, sir, but you don't have to be an asshole to me. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, it's just from outside, I assume the place was abandoned. No offense, even though you're an ass to me. <laughs> abandoned? You ignorant fuck. I'll have you know, this humble home is as sturdy as the day I bought it. I mean, who cares if all the windows are boarded up and there's holes in the roof? It just adds character, you know? Actually, seeing as you are trespassing here, I don't suppose you'd be willing to do this old man. Favor. So wait that bird shit face, you insult me, then you want my help. Sure I might as well help. Well I guess I did invade your home, but I'll be happy to help even though you insulted me, you ugly arse. Do pardon my language guys. But really? that's what he is. Would? Well, I wasn't expecting that. I'm not even sure where to begin here. You see, many years ago, He's an arse. 
husband, Edward. We're going through Edward. Oh, right. It was around this okay, time. Please, uh, he's okay, cool. That's interesting. Radio of his. First time in. He wasn't down in the basement working. You could guarantee he was sat in front of that blasted thing. I never did find out who he was talking to. One morning, I woke up. And the guy was gone, just like that. He'd left a note. Said he wasn't coming back. I suspect that he went down into the basement, into that tunnel of his. Like I said, we weren't really on talking terms, and I kind of thought he'd lost his marbles. Eventually, I did go looking for him, but I kept getting chased out of there by those damn mole rats. Don't look at me like that. I'm not expecting miracles here. I just need some closure, you know? Here's the key. The basement's down the hall. Okay. It's not every day you see to make gay people in Fallout. I'm happy this mod offers are that actually, and it's added some diversity into the game for once. Can I put my light on? Will it let me or no? Okay, I'm not going to be able to have my torch on if I want the chest rig on. Yeah, I think I want the chest rig on. It adds a bit more damage protection against anybody hitting me. There we go. Yeah. So at least we've got some now. Cool dude here. The mayor. Well, I'll try and find your husband, mate. If I can, even though he did insult me and you do look like bird shit, basically. So I can go in there. Uh, that, that. Dressers. Nothing in the mirrors. Toilet. Nothing there. Let's check this office. Oh, hello tape. Let's read this journal. August 5th, 2077. Chris and I said our goodbyes to the Robsons this morning as they were bundling up their furniture into the back of a moving truck. It's such a shame I know our family lost to Sanctuary Hills. Mr. Robson was nice enough to give us some parting advice, though it's his opinion that Chris and I are just being stubborn and that we should simply drop our case. It took everything in my power not to socker him right in the gut. But thankfully, Chris was holding my hand when, when we... When we people realise that we will not be persuaded to leave in our home, it's nothing scared, scared anymore. Okay, next one. We received a, another letter this month from the Housing Association that even bigger purchase of a damn fools. They honestly believe we're going to hold out for more money. I woke up this morning just in time to see the Abu family leaving our neighbourhood. It's down to the two families now, us and the Whitfields. They've always started tearing down the other homes to make way for that monstrous behind us. The noise is intolerable, but I still don't care. Even if they have to build directly off our damn roof, we are not going anywhere. So this guy sounds like a bit of an arse, basically. So we received a different kind of letter today. It was from a housing association again, but this time the letter was had a vault tech stamp on the corner. On the page, apparently, if we agree to sell up, we are being offered a place in one of our in one of their strictly vaults up near Sanctuary Hills. I threw the letter into the trash before even showing Chris. To hell with vault tech. Yeah, so he is basically an asshole. Grumpy old man who does not like anything. Oh, anything on this terminal? Nope. This is where I can insert hall tips to read. Okay. Uh, what's down here? You're a caller? Yep. Oh, more hall tips. Okay, I might end up reading these in the wrong order, guys, but um, do bear with me. Let's see. April 25th, 2080. June 4th, June. All right. All Chris seems to be doing lately is pissing me off. Every time we are trying to have a decent conversation, it turns into a fight. I swear the man is getting grumpy on his old age. Sure, we used to have our little scrolls before, not like this. You think we... will with life and death, since we are daily basis, it would put an end to our silly backering. Maybe it's stress we're not at each other's throats, we're either fixing things that are broken or we're spending countless days on the road scavenging. So these are Edward's logs. Just when I was starting to believe our lives couldn't get any more malicious, Chris barred into the bathroom bedroom this morning all excited apparently he's seen someone during his morning stroll but said that they disappeared before they could reach them he suspects they went into the sewers to avoid him how rude hopefully we'll bump into them again okay so we finally found the person chris had seen last week she was sitting on the park bench near what's left of the lake as we made our approach it was easier to see she had gone 
through a similar transformation as we had. Wouldn't acknowledge us in the slightest, Chris went to give her a little shake. You know to snap her out of whatever funk she was in, but I pulled him away. There was something very off about her. Big an expression and the way she simply started to stare into the lake. Maybe life out here has driven her mad. Or maybe she's a feral ghoul, mate. Did you ever think about that? I can say this isn't going to end well, guys. So let's have a look. July the 1st. Chris was attacked. The crazy bitch who hangs out at the lake went for him. He said when he arrived there this morning, she was no longer on the bench but standing in the wall. He said it looked like she was catching what little fish remained in the lake. Once she spotted Chris, she bolted straight for him. It would seem she was no longer a dose now but as rabid as those fucking dogs. Chris managed to fire a few shots and she went down. First time he's ever had fire a gun at someone. I don't think I like what this new world is doing to us. Hey guys, I was right for once. She went feral, and she tried to kill him. She's a feral ghoul. Oh, did I just put on police armor there? I don't want police armor. I want my military armor on. Uh, Edward's log. No, I want. Here we go. Oh, one log. Happy New Year. I know it's been quite a while since I've written anything down here, but I'm to find it's taken a little over two months just to get this terminal back and work all. You see, the terminal was one of the main things that I owned that took the brunt of a nuclear explosion. No, you read that correctly. Okay. How did I survive it here, you ask? Well, here's the thing. I have no goddamn idea. One moment I'm sitting in the living room, wait, when a strongly word led to the house and associate. Next thing, I'm looking at this bright flash in the distance. The flash came, followed by a loud rumble, then instant heat as my own flesh began to melt. Wow, very graphical writing. And I love this writing as well, guys. All I can recall, all I could do was mentally say, say my goodbyes and proceed to pass out from the excruciating pain. I woke a few days later, my home partially burnt out, husk around me and Chris no in sight. Turning to get up gave me a surprise as the skin on my back had become fused to the living room floor and I had to quite literally rip myself off it. After that unpleasant, I wandered around outside for a while to see if I could find Chris but he was nowhere to be found. On the morning of the bomb cell, he had gone into town to run some errands. My heart was breaking at the thought that he probably died out there, possibly alone. When surveying the damage outside, I was somewhat surprised that most of the guarding was still intact. Useless, the futilest delivery truck that was parked outside took the brunt of the initial shockwave. Sorry, my dog Lucy didn't make it. I buried her near the tree. Oh. I have a few days gone by when I realised I've been socially avoiding the mirrors on any any of the reflection surfaces for that matter. I was as if my mind wasn't yet ready to see what I was finally did decide to inspect the damage. I let my gaze raise from the tile floor to the bathroom mirror. It was so much worse than I thought it would be. I was greeted by this ghastly mess staring back at me. Bits of the skin flaking off in places, all my hair was gone. After about two weeks of feeling sorry for myself, I realised that I wasn't getting weak out of cigarette. I was actually feeling great. My strength was being to return and my breath suddenly didn't feel so labyrinth anymore. My body seemed to be doing quite well in the new environment, but my mind was very close to cracking. I was missing Chris terribly and I was feel filled with so much regret, mostly for not preparing better. I mean, we had so many warnings some months leading up to this awful day and I didn't take care did I listen no I was stubborn as as far as I could be by the third week I was sitting outside on the steps here more than a little sorry for myself when the gun gate opened and walked a man who like me looked like shit only different it was Christopher Close next thing I know I was holding him and crying love is a funny thing like me and him look absolutely terrible but I'll see hadn't loved the man more than I did at that moment. Oh, so it's a nice love story, even though both of them are assholes, basically. So, the dude who's still alive in the kitchen is a big ass, and uh, Chris ran off somewhere. Who sounds like an ass as well at the moment. Well, I don't really know. I'll read that one first. Oh, right, let's have a look. Very the third, 2001. So it would appear that I am absolutely awful at keeping journals. I don't have any excuse other than I only feel writing about life when I actually have life to talk about. 
Quite frankly, the last 20 years have been a complete shit show. The only good thing is that Chris and I are still together surviving. We both seem to have adapted pretty well to our new lives out here. Chris seems to think whatever happened to us was a blessing. For example, we no longer have to search high enough clean water anymore. He found that out on the highway when the old fool found a carton of water in the abandoned store. Just packed it up off the shelf and knocked back. Nasty. Without giving it a same thought, as it turns out, the wall was higher rigid. He said he could feel it burning all the way down. Well, it wasn't a year ago, and the guy's still marching around fit as a fiddle. <laughs> yep. Next one. We met two ghouls day over in the ruins of Concord. Yes, you heard me. Apparently, that is the name of, of our kind has been blessed with to these two strangers. I have to admit it was so refreshing to find people who looked the way we do and not being completely manics. Do you know position Chris having to be drinking some water we found when one of them strangers knocked out, out of his hands. They explained to us that our two types of girls, us and those who went feral. Going feral depends hugely on how much radiation has affected your brain. Turns out we might have to quit drinking the bad water. Damn. That's a shame, but oh well. Don't want you going feral. Who you know what I used to take for granted? Telephones. Just being able to have the occasional chain wag with a friend from the comfort of my own armchair. Those were days. So it's comfort, it's comfort in that this with one of our new friends from Con Concord Creek. It was he was switching me onto this net hand radio idea. You think with most of the world being dead and random parts of irradiated size being here and there. I have tried to get get one wearing sooner. I'm. It seems going to be nice to speak to people again. I mean, no offense to Chris, but that man is becoming increasingly harder to work with. In the earliest of the moment where Chris slept, I snuck off to my office to think with my favorite favorite new toy. Just as the radio was powering on, I noticed that I wasn't on the correct frequency to be able to communicate with Concord. Must have come soon, knocked the dial when powering it off last night. Just as I was about to change the frequency, I started hearing a series of faint beeps. It would seem I'm going to have to get dig out my old Morse court book. Ooh, when, might be a Chinese spy, possibly from the Yangtze sub, who's come for help, or, mili or US military. I almost didn't know where to start. I've been having conversations in Morse code for over a week now, who I'm seeing with claims that they are unable to communicate by voice as their transmission series is too weak. They are also being a little scarce with regard to the, their location. I might give up communicating with them. Okay. Oh, there's another one here. Right, you're going to read this one. Oh, there's only one. I'm not going to write more excuses to explain why it's been 10 years since my last journal anyway. But I can say this is the most cold frequency made my life got a whole lot busier. As it happens, Chris and I ain't doing so well anymore. I mean, I was happy to retire with that man I loved, but retirement was 30 years ago. I'm not. I'm 93 now, and I just want to leave. Not entirely sure where, but as long as it's far away from here, it's a funny thing to try and wrap my head around being this age, wanting to go and start a new life. Come to Craig, this too is a side effect of our condition. Still feeling in your prime. When you're pushing a hundred. I suspect me feeling this way also has something to do with Alex. Though Alex is the person I've been communicating with via most code. All this time of the years we've become quite close. I know it doesn't make sense how come you can develop feelings for someone. When all you've done for the last ten years is beep at each other. I couldn't explain through our length conversation. He told me that he is in fact a vault dweller. I can't help think of the iron if I had the vault. Apparently due to the numerous malfunctions that the fall has suffered over the years, it's become almost impossible for them to reach the surface. Now Alex gave me the coordinates of the vault after I spent days of searching this room. I have any sense of entrance. I came up with nothing. The entrance was must be covered. Craig suspects it may have been destroyed during the quakes that came days after the bombs are. Since I have spent the majority of my time down in the basement digging. Yeah, Chris is a little cross with me. Okay, so he's digging for the vault. We might find him then. So if he's going looking for a vault digging, does that mean we have to jump down a ton of tools and find more rats now? Great. Nothing else here. Terps, blast radius. 
No more hull chips am I missing? Robot models, I'm gonna leave them. Hmm. Let's have a look. Bobby pins, t shirt and slacks. I think that's it. Bedding. Little d SWAT I do. Um, baseball statue. Mirror toothpaste. Oh, there's a tiny bed tinkering with a toaster. Cool. Nothing in here. Uh, no books. Alright, let's take a look around then. See what we can find. Bobby pins? Yeah, I'll take them. Uh, nothing new here. Nice little living room they've got. There's them bits. Okay, so there's nothing really new there. But that is the dog's grave around the tree. Oh, looks like someone's been living in here with a teddy bear. Oh, there's another dog now? Who's this dog? Oh, it's the attack dog. I'm not going to hit with a baton. Well, the only gun I've really got is the fat man or the 10mm pistol. So it looks like it's just going to be the... Oh, no, it's the Mactoff. I'm wrong. I'm using the Mactoff pistol. So, yeah, the only gun we've got is the Mactoff today. So this should be fun. Unless we find a machine gun or something. Oh, hello, dog meat. Yep, I've got dog meat and Nate with me for once. The military crew's all back together. Two Russians. Nate's got the radio pack on his back. I've just got a normal backpack. So basically, we're going to have fun. Come on, Nate. Let's jump down to the basement and see what's going on down here. Okay, that's a brick wall. Oh god, that's the void. Uh, let's try and get through here quickly, guys. I know what's caused that this time. At least I know what's done that. I've got this in the wrong load order space. Yeah, I redid all my load order. But I will come up here in my own time, guys, if I can fix it. I will show you around up there. But if I can't, I will find. If there's any hall tips up there, and read them out in the next episode. So I guarantee this is going to be more than one episode. Oh god. And I just broke my legs. Let's have a look. Uh, anyone down here? Hello? Russian Federation? We're here to rescue you and bring you back to the surface. Oh god. Is that way or that way? Let's try the uh, map. Oh god, these are like this all going in a link and a loop around. Possibly. So let's go down here. Hello? Hello. Oh Jesus, hello. Yeah, I think that thing's dead now, guys. <laughs> well, let's go, um... That way looks blocked off, so we'll head here first. Oh! Dead. Hey, more you guys want to jump out and attack me? Ow. Dead. Uh, stim packs. New cola. Stim packs. Nah, don't want any of that. Discraft pencil. Sh oh, Edward's note. Here we go. Chris, if you're looking for me, follow the sound of water. Edward. Okay. Well, now looking for water, apparently. Uh huh. So, uh, this doesn't look like the water place is, is described to me, or could be. Oh no, back off. Oh, it's a, yeah, that's a goodish gun. Not the gun I would like to use, Pef, personally. Can we go around this way? Nope, okay. Uh, let's have a look. Oh no, more of them. Back off. No, we're oh, dead. Always reload your gun after a firefight. You never know what's going on. So that's a blocked off entrance. That one's a blocked off entrance. So yeah, there's a glowing one there. Hello, mole rat. I if I've got a laser silence, so I don't really have to aim, but I do tend to miss a lot more. It's nothing else. That's true, Nate. Nothing else. Let's have a look. Where's this leading me? Da, 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 da. There's quite a bit of blood down here. Still quite deep, I can say that. Uh, hello, anyone home? I'm here to assist. Oh, this is the vault. So you bust through the vault. Sledgehammer, saw blades on the ground. 
Okay, I'm not going to go here. I'm going to run back through, guys, and have a look at that other area where I said, I said it might loop around to. But yeah, so let's jump. Let's run all the way back around. And then we'll... Two eyes. Oh, hello, Nate. You eventually found us. Any communications on the radio yet? From our other naval fleets, what might be coming? No? Fine. Keep trying. See who else is still alive out there, Nate, for us. Do -do. Uh, I'm not seeing much here. Definitely not much. Uh, yep, nothing there. Huh. Okay, so this is where I jumped in. I'm just completely lost there. I think that I was like, eh, where are we? Turns out we're lost. Completely lost. 100%. Ah, here we go. Down here. I'm still not hearing any water, so I think it's sea now. Let's have a look. Any water? Oh, now I hear water. Oh, this is a very nice view. So this is where Chris and Edward must have spent some time before Chris came back to the surface and Edward said he was go gone forever, I guess, or something like that. Anything down here? No, nothing in the waterfall. Ah, well, it's a nice little location. Nice rocky rocks and the rest. Some ladders there, some wine, a diving board. Very nice, I must admit. Must be nice to live down here at one time. Oh, let's go up this way and see where this one leads us. And this one has taken us to... Oh, hello, Nate. Well, this is a crossroad. Okay, yeah, this is taking us to the crossroad way. Uh, oh, wait, no, that's the wrong way. I need to turn around, go back this way, turn this way. Yep, this is where the vault is. So, you guys, I easily get lost on this game. Let's have a look. Down. Uh, down. Yep. Down and around all twisty corridors to see what's going on. Yes, here we go. Alright, so we're in the vault storage room by luck. So it looks like he's just busted through the whole thing. Alright, so that's the vault door. Okay, right guys, I'm going to leave this here then before going into the vault, right? The next part two will be us exploring the vault. There might be a part three, I'm not sure yet, guys. But if you have any questions about this mod or any other mods, guys, put them down in the comments below and I'll try and answer them below. Ugh. I'll try and answer them the best way I can, guys. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down, guys. But until next time, guys, I am Victor Barisov, signing off. Until next time, guys. Bye.